at the end of the day, I lost my dad, and um, I feel like he had mental health issues. Definitely suffered from depression um, towards the end. Karma Sutra, I need the one that sucked me hard like Hoover. Look at me, turn me rock. Medusa. Yes. <sighs> On a serious level, though, obviously, Karma Sutra, this, um, this series. Obviously, I want to help everyone. Like, I feel like it's my duty to know, you know, speak up. At the end of the day, I lost my dad. And um, I feel like he had mental health issues. Definitely suffered from depression um, towards the end. As I said, I have a psychology degree, so I'm picking up these things. And I'm telling him, Dad, yo, Dad, like, let's go. Let's go see someone. Let's chat to someone. Same. Are you calling me crazy? Are you calling me crazy? And I'm like, your dad, like, come on, man. At one point, I'm like, I'll come with you, you know? See, when your mental health is not good, it's like a, there's something pulling at you slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly. You have physical health, you have, you have financial health, the same way you have mental health, like, especially as the man, them, like, growing up, man, suffer from PTSD. Man was on the roads, real talk. Like, still all now, if a car pulls up next to me, I'm ready to get it cracking you know what i'm saying like when i walk into rooms i'm like okay how am i getting out here it's like goes goes wrong like that's real life that i'm saying to you i was watching some i think it was a conan documentary and and when he said that i was like rough that's when i didn't deep it and it's mental health is is a real thing like imagine this like i've been having this sharp pain in my back like the last week yeah when my dad passed and obviously, man still had to drop music and all these things. So a lot was going on in my head. Like, man's sorting out his funeral. I imagine man's getting a sharp pain in my back. Like, when I'm sleeping, I'm literally in pain, yelling. Like, I'm yelling, like... Because I went gym, like, maybe three days before. So I thought maybe it was that. But I was like, nah. It shouldn't be here for another three days. So I got shorty. I'm telling her, yo, put your heel in my back. Like, I'm telling her, stand on me. Like, not even on that kinky thing. I'm like, yo, I'm in pain. I need to... I need this thing to be rubbed out of me or something like if I was in a serious pain and obviously you know, three days now, still in pain. My mom was like, yo, she's mom's getting stressed, like, why are you in pain? Then I've gone online, fourth day, like exactly where the pain was, I'm talking about it. And I've seen online that that can be a pain cause of stress, fam. I was thinking, what? Man's in pain cause of stress. And that's real life shit, bro. Strong, I'm probably one of the strongest people you know. You get me? Like, but still, my body reacted that way because the mental aspect was so much, it was heavy on me that I had physical pain in my body. Like, that's nuts. Like, and it just showed me that, yo, don't play with your mental meditation, speaking out, speaking to your people, letting go. Don't be bitter. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you can go anytime. Listen, I know a lot of the people that's going to watch this, they're going to be from a certain kind of lifestyle. 100% the get back is due. But then, the man that I be for man because something happened 10 years ago. Come on, man, let it go, man. Five years, you can let it go, man. I'm saying that you can let it go. Because it was a crazy violation, then, yeah. But, and to the normal people, the civilians or whoever, like, just let things go, man. You can forgive, but don't forget. I'm not saying if someone disrespects you, go back to the person and start fucking with them. No. Say, so forget it. Move on. There's always someone else that can do that job. Always. Any job. Any job, there's always someone else that can do it. I'm telling you. Listen to JBZ, man.